Alrighty guys, good to have you back on another video of Near Incarnation and today we have another banner, the second Christmas banner um, after Priyad and Saryu. Now we have Gail and Griff and oh boy, we are in some trouble for Arena, at least. That is Eulatide Hunter, a lot of HP, okay attack, a lot of defense, so Judging from the stats, you already can see uh, it's maybe some kind of a support unit and it is. It is a support unit for Arena because she increases all allies defense by 20% for 30 seconds and continually recovers 10% HP for all allies for 5 turns. So that is the same continually recovery um, or continual recovery as New Year's 06 Rewi. And she also reduced all allies damage by 50% for 5 times when own affinity is water. So that doesn't mean she decreases the damage from your allies. It's, um, I guess, a translation mistake because it's reduce all allies um, or reduce all damage to allies by 50%. So um, she gives the same damage mitigation as bloody griff um, bloody griff is only for himself and she um yeah basically um strengthens the party with the five foot damage mitigation by 50 percent when um this is really important she has a water affinity main hand weapon um yeah of course her sword is also water affinity but we we'll come to that in just a second her abilities are resilience, HP up by 20% for all allies, the same with Bloody Griff, increases stats for water weapons a little bit and at Awakening 3 she gets Soldier, all allies agility up by 10% for 60 seconds. So um, yeah, really really good um, unit for Arena, especially if you have Bloody Griff, um, these two they go very well in tandem. Um, practically speaking, I'm not quite sure how to use her to her fullest potential with Bloody Griff because um, the damage mitigation, the five hits, um, they don't stack with Bloody Griff. So if you activate both character skills after one another, you don't get 10 um, hits that has have damage mitigation but you um, they overlap so you only remain at five hits that got um, that gets mitigated um, but the effect is higher but that doesn't really matter because griff already reduces damage by 90 percent if i remember correctly and if you put 50 percent on top that is only 95 percent and this is literally no difference but the continually recovery is very interesting because um you the way you do this is that you use the recovery to proc Griff's um, damage threshold, so his recovery. Um, he has a recovery when his HP falls below 50%, but you also can equip him with Machine X. Um, this has a damage threshold of 70%, so you can um, theoretically proc the zombie effect twice in arena where he doesn't die and recovers HP. Um, it requires a bit of RNG of course but uh, with Gale in your party the chances that this will happen you get two zombie effects is definitely increased by a lot. Okay and that that's why um, she goes very well in tandem with Bloody Griff and the resilience helps <laughs> strength from bloody griff even more with hp and this is just ridiculous these two then have a look at his uh, at her debris liquid first strike chunk and her carry or the character skill gorge needed reduced by 15 percent with um while equipped with a water affinity main hand weapon this is um maybe nice for subjugation but it's one of the uh, debris that is on the lower end of the spectrum then really quickly go over her sword. It's comparable to Fractured Gale's sword. It also has a AOE healing on skill one and a water ability on skill two. Um, it's just a yeah slightly buffed version of, of this weapon because the first skill has only 10% HP heal for all allies, but cures one status ailment for each ally as well. So that is nice to see. And the water ability that we talked about 
just a second ago liquid boon to help dealing some damage and toughness 18 uh, 15 percent um is great um, though the weapon has a lot of hp here okay and then we have eulatite captain another griff costume finally um he is quite popular in the near reincarnation universe but doesn't have a lot of costumes and now he gets a christmas version that it looks pretty dope and um, the jet the stats look pretty dope as well okay 9000 attack that is um quite a lot and this um yeah, Eulatite Captain is another DPS unit in your arsenal if you happen to get him. Gift Trap. Deal 300% damage to one enemy five times. Damage increased by 15% when own affinity is water and increases own defense by 15% for 30 seconds. Okay. Um, he gets a little bit of defense, but I'm not quite sure why. Um, doesn't really matter to um, that much but the character skill the damage proportion of the character skill is comparable to um, Eulatite Priet but only for dark affinity so 300 percent increased by 15 percent 50 percent when uh, the affinity matches and yeah Griff needs water weapon as a main hand then his abilities vigor 25 percent Liquid Drive, more stat, more attack stats from water weapons, and then he also gets Bold Vigor, damage up by 20%. Um, this is pretty good. Um, puts him up in top tier, um, yeah, attacking characters. Um, yeah, similar to Priyad. Priyad got Caged Vigor at Awakening Free. Now this Griff gets Bold Vigor at Awakening Free. Both damage up by 20%. So they are very comparable and now we have dark and water so look ahead in the future we I guess we get pretty soonish um, light fire and wind as well um, leave a comment down below what you speculate what characters would fit into these categories but um, before we finish Griff here uh, we have to look at his degree debris because it is bold vigor chunk the first bold vigor debris we have in the game and this is the best debris we have okay it's insane it's triple s tier nothing is near this debris maybe the caged vigor we got um with oh not quite sure what it was i guess a an abyssal unit or so that got caged vigor debris i don't know I'll leave a comment down below who got the caged vigor but Bold Vigor is easily top tier. Um, you can use this debris in every situation of the game. You can use it in Arena for an Agility Sniper, because when you have an Agility Sniper, it is at 10, at 100% HP, so you get full 20% more damage out of your Sniper. You can use it on a CDR unit that is behind an Agility Sniper and a tank, so it gets protected by enemy snipes or... Um, other um, yeah, weapon skills and of course you can use it in PvE as well for speed farming teams you can use it in subjugation for literally any element um, any affinity there is um, because it's not um, yeah for one affinity only it's um, universal um, this is the best debris there is unfortunately it's behind a limited costume i mean yes of course it is behind a limited costume because it's the best debris in the game and it's only for whales that go on the 7.5 times drop rate for four star with characters um there you're very likely to get a high number of dupes for um Eulatide captain here and um yeah this, this debris is awesome i might save some gems in the future when we have like christmas reruns and we can pity for this character um yeah it's um it's uh, very tempting for me but um yeah as a free-to-play player it's not recommended to do enormous amounts of pulls here because the pity is at 200 shards and there's no discounts so you need like 60,000 gems for a pity and then you're only guaranteed to get one griff out of this yeah, the rates is 0.5 percent it's not that high but yeah it goes to show that i 
I never talked that much about a debris in the game up until now, so you can clearly see that it, this is awesome. Uh, it's awesome. And the gun is awesome as well, okay? Um, it is uh, comparable to EX Yuri's gun. Um, because, yeah, let's have a look. The first skill is 90% times 5 and damage is increased by 40% when HP over 80%. So this is more than 500% damage on a skill. Um, you can see 500% damage as a threshold for an EX weapon and this, um, this skill is over that threshold. And the second weapon skill is 100% damage times 4 this time and increases water damage by 30% for 15 seconds. So you use the second weapon skill first and then the second, uh, the first weapon skill second. Okay, a bit confusing here, but you use this weapon skill first and then um, the second skill to get full use out of the increased um, damage from water attacks. And the abilities, top class here as well, Liquid Boon and Bold Vigor, 20%. A very, 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 very good weapon. So, um, yeah, it's uh, basically on the same level as the Debris for, bl uh, yes, uh, I say Bloody Griff. Um, no, um, it's Christmas Griff, okay. And is this banner worth it? I would say it's, uh, it's a very good banner, very good characters on it. Um, the banner is not that good, to be honest, but the characters are very good. Um, Eulatite Hunter and Gale is, yeah, very interesting for Bloody Griff users in Arena. She also has some uses in PvE content because the character skill is only B Gorge, so um, you can use it in tower content for sure. Um, and you don't have to wait that long for the character skill to appear again. And Griff, yeah, Griff is, um, is a very good DPS character. We don't have a DPS character for Griff in the game. So this is the first one. Um, this is certainly the best one we have here. And if you can get a lot of copies of him, Feel, feel lucky, okay? The debris is um, yeah top tier, the Awakening 3 is top tier, and the character itself is um, very good as well, okay? The weapon is awesome, by the way. So um, the Griff is, is a big dub in this banner. Um, Gale is very interesting if you have Bloody Griff for Arena. And um, other than that, leave a comment down below. Do you pull on this banner? Do you wait for it? Possibly part three Christmas banner, but I doubt there will be a third banner for Christmas um, because, yeah, we don't have that much um, events left that they can drop a banner on. Anyway, um, I hope you get something out of this video. And other than that, I wish you a nice rest of your day. Stay safe and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.